Hi, this is a video on making a uh, goal seek, and what we're going to do is is uh, make a macro out of a goal seek, and then make a data table that goes around that macro. Now you couldn't do that at all. You couldn't come close to doing that with the regular data table tool. So let's let's begin this process. Let's put a uh, target. That return and see, given our different assumptions, what kind of uh, so let's put a 15% return. Right now, we're earning a 19% uh, return. We're going to see what sort of entry EV to EBITDA ratio we can have to make that return. To do that, let's uh, make a macro, we can call it goal seek. Okay, and then when we uh, uh, simply record the macro and make an old-fashioned goal seek using the data, what if analysis goal seek and well, oh shoot, let's do that again. Let's first before we do that, let's set a difference. Let's uh, put a difference in here. the difference because that really is our uh, what we use for our goal seek let's call that difference and let's set that difference to zero by changing the entry multiple and we have a range name on the entry multiple we don't have a range name on this one we're going to need one so I'm just going to make one right now uh, shift control F3 Okay, and uh, let's try this again. Make another goal seek. Okay, now we'll replace the macro, of course, and then we'll go back to our data what if analysis goal seek and set the difference to a value of zero by changing the entry multiple. Okay, and uh, that means we are allowed to uh, pay this sort of entry multiple uh, in this. I just did something bad. And let's look at our uh, let's look at our, our uh, macro. Go to the developer tab. Go to macros and go to our goal seek. Let's edit that and take out all the junk that I just uh, put in. And this. We, of course, well, not of course, but it's essential that we put the difference. You can see the difference down here. We're going to set that to be equal to zero by changing the uh, entry multiple. Now, that, that's a standard kind of a, probably it's, it's the first macro I ever made and, and Probably it will be the last. It's by far one of the uh, uh, most useful ones. We can even right click copy this to here. Um, let's make that uh, go from a value, how about a value of zero to, to a value of 25 or something like that. We need to, if this is a percentage, we need to do the old. Uh, double uh, percentage thing, I might as well uh, make our standard uh, wiper approach and we can then, the second stage is to take this and divide it by 100. So we can put in 15 here and now what we can do is we can attach the macro we just made, the goal seek macro, to this uh, button. Okay, and so when we change this the uh, entry multiple changes, so we get exactly the same IRR. If you don't like this little tiny difference, you can go to File, uh, File, uh, and then why don't you go, after you go to File, go to uh, Options, and go to the Formulas, and you just add a uh, precision here. Okay, and then we uh, change it to 15. Oops, 
Well, maybe I also, excuse me, I thought that was okay. I guess I also have to change the uh, formulas and I have to put, oh, I don't think I uh, saved that. That's why I didn't do that. Let's leave this as uh, 100. Let's press OK. And let's, now we get the exact uh, values. Okay, so that's the goal seat. But now let's make this into a data table. And um, I think what we can do is why don't we use a, our two way sensitivity? And no, we won't. Let's, let's uh, make a new page and we'll put. Uh, Data table and goal seek. Okay, and let's make a, a, a data table where we change some of the inputs. So I'll, you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to stop the recording for a minute and just enter some of our. Okay, I made a. Uh, <clears throat> similar data tables I set them up similar to what we had before we had a holding period and then we had an exit uh, multiple and we want to see what happens if we change the exit multiple and change the holding period what happens to our required entry multiple what happens if we change the growth rate in the exit multiple and we should make a uh, six percent 12% growth rate, and then we can uh, do the same thing and see what happens if we make our holding period differently, what happens to our exit multiple. So there's a, those are some sensitivity variables. This is just the row of the row of the start and the row of the end. Okay, and then this is the column of the start and the column of the end, and this is the uh, always, these are the two variables, and the output is always the entry multiple, which is an input, and that's what a goal seek could never work with this. Now, we I put a code number, and we'll use an index function, and select the few uh, uh, cases we have, and press control F, the F4. Control D to copy it down and shade this. Shift Control F3 to make a range name just from our right column. And this range name, remember, will all only apply to this uh, sheet because we're using the same names again and again and again. And now we'll make a, uh, why don't we go to our developer and our macros and we'll go to our goal seek edit this and then let's make our data table uh, hopefully we can make it fairly quickly uh, maybe we can kind of remember how we did we put an initial uh, row variable and we'll we'll uh, put that in later column variable, we'll, we'll put that in, in just a minute, and then we put for uh, row, we first do the row equals range, so this is totally a review, and we put the row start, okay, and we go to the uh, row range and put the row end and then put next row and it told me that I forgot a hey, it was nice enough to talk, tell me that I forgot that and then we put cells we find the range uh, of the uh, what we call the row variable we put another range and we put uh, row variable and that equals cells and we put row first because we go around the rows and 
and uh, and that should have been a column variable. Okay, and this is going to be the range of the column start. Okay, minus one. This is exactly what we did in the earlier video unless I made some mistakes, which appears I did. Cell zero. Okay, and then we do our, then we go around the call and do the same thing. Range. And we go from column start. And then we go to to uh, range, and then we go to column end. Okay. See this once you get the hang of it, it's not so difficult. And then we're going to put the similar thing, but this time, uh, even though I, I got it wrong, kind of. And then we put the row variable. Okay equals the cells. This time we put the range as the row start and we would just put uh, minus one and put the uh, column column in. Okay and I think uh, okay we we're just about finished because then we can put cells can put uh, the row first and then the column second and then we can put equal range and then we put range again and we put our uh, output variable and since it's a two-way data table we only have one output variable now this is the big difference we just run the goal seek each time we do that. That's the only big difference. That's the really only difference between what we did before and what we did uh, uh, this time. Okay, and we can then put our row variable in here. Okay, oh, come on, row variable, copy this. That's why I left it, and then we'll do the same thing for the uh, column variable, okay, and then we do the same thing in, in our reverse order at the very end, and all we do is take this out, put an equal sign, we copy it, and Okay, we have that one. I don't know what happened here, but um, okay, so why don't I just delete this? And, and paste it and take out the equal sign. So that's that. And guess what? Because I don't trust myself. I am going to pause this and we'll see if it, apparently I don't, I sound, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I did make an error anyway, so I was right. I did make an error and here uh, there were, it was, there were minor little errors. I forgot to put the parentheses here and uh, I had a problem with the next loop, but now it works. That's pretty cool. Look at this. You just press that and it works. And if you press number two, we'll do the same thing and we we get a uh, a, a uh, the second one. And it goes through the goal seek every single time it goes through the goal seek function. So that's how to use it's not that long a macro, it's not that hard. So let's put a sub and put a put a batch, put put a run. How about run, run goal seek? We will run, that means we're going to run all the goal seek. Okay, and we can 
put us again start okay oops they didn't they didn't like that begin and end remember this we need to move this up here and this will press shift uh, control f3 there we go and we'll begin with one and end with three so we'll do all three of them and all we have to do is oops i forgot to name these ranges shift control three okay and all we have to do is put this into our little routine and say for uh, code equal begin range begin to range end okay and then we put uh, uh, range and code equals code number and then we uh, we simply run our variable which is oh, you know how did this work and i call it table i'll put it table g how did that work uh, i thought i had something in table g g standing for goal seek and then we better put our next code here okay so we can uh, finally just make a little uh, in insert a little button okay and assign it to a run goal seek and this time i'm going to be really brave and it runs them all um, that's that so that's really the most important thing of this was making that goal the very first goal seek and then you can see how you can really use a flexible uh, data table together with the goal seek advertising www.finance energy institute dot com for very reasonable prices and, uh, and fun 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 classes in excel what how fun would it be to take a class and go through things like this couldn't think of anything better.